guys welcome to another tutorial another after effects tutorial today i will show you how to create a liquid glitch this effect and this text belongs to a pack the visual kinetic in MasterFX.com. It's a pack with more than 50 elements, text elements, textures, backgrounds, effects, transitions, and more. You can find it here in the description or in the site masterfx.com and if, if you are a master subscriber, you can uh, get it for free. So if you want to make this tutorial, the break file is here in the description and let's get started. Okay, let's start by clicking this button uh, to generate a new composition and rename it as uh, Liquid Glitch. Uh, the resolution is up to you and the frame rate also. Um, go for 60 and 5 seconds of duration. Now I'll hit OK and generate a text. Um, make sure that it's centered and click on the composition and write glitch in this case. Now uh, we need to uh, get it to the center and uh, go to window and align. In the align panel, click on the uh, align horizontally and vertically. Now we need to separate all the channels. So we need to add an effect. Go to channel and shift channels. In this uh, effect, we need to get rid of the red and the green. Just uh, take the blue and take the blue from the blue channel, okay? And the alpha from the alpha channel. And now we need to create an adjustment layer. And in the adjustment layer, uh, add two more effects. One in transition uh, is CC scale wipe and uh, increase the stretch if you if you can see the stretch is affecting only the field of the text so uh, let me put it on zero and just pre-compose the text Control shift and c and rename it as text hit ok and uh, go to the composition and grab the shift channel and cut it Cont Control X and paste it on the composition, on the text composition. And now uh, go to the adjustment layer and in the in the stretch value, click on maybe nine. And on the duration is where the liquid is is going. So I'm gonna set it to 180 and the center is where the effect is gonna be applied so click on the keyframe in the first frame and uh, go to the second four and uh, animate or drag the center so just barely uh, drag the text okay now the in the in the text layer go to animate and uh, select tracking Click on the tracking amount and go to the final uh, frame of the composition and drag the, the value, maybe 50 and go back to the composition and it looks like this, it looks good, okay. Now the next effect is, um, is in, on effect, distort and wave warp. This generates a wave in the text and uh, we need to uh, decrease the height to negative 80 and the wave width uh, maybe 250. For the direction, uh, maybe set it to 45 to create a more random effect and the pinning go to the uh, center type. So all the effect is based on the center okay now duplicate all uh, these two layers with ctrl d and drag to the top of the timeline and in the text uh, change the blue to full off and uh, in the green ch 
change it uh, from full love to green okay now change the blending mode to a screen and uh, see how it blends and in the adjustment layer uh, you need to you need to erase the scale wipe and uh, add a little blur blur and sharpen in the effects and fast box blur maybe here uh, six no maybe less uh, three 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 is okay now duplicate these two layers with ctrl d and drag it to the top of the composition and in this case the text uh, change it uh, from green to red now if you can see for the blending mode is uh, now white okay in 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 the adjustment layer just delete the effects and um, duplicate the the text layer and uh, change the red uh, from uh, well the blue the blue one for these two i'm gonna add um, a glow uh, for the red one go to stylize effect stylize glow and uh, in this case just the intensity maybe 0.5 and the threshold uh, 40 and in the radius maybe 15 just to make a, a detail and in the blue one in the top one uh, go to glow again and uh, the threshold decrease it to 25 the radius uh, quite big maybe 150 and uh, the glow dimensions go to vertical to generate this uh, this glows okay all this is just preparing the effect because everything it looks the same at the end it just uh, drag it the text a little bit but uh, in the next adjustment layer is gonna get the liquid type okay so we need to duplicate the last the, the last uh, adjustment layer and drag it to the first uh, of the composition and if you can see look the the scale wipe how it looks but it's not enough we need to duplicate or create another scale wipe so go to transition and cc scale wipe here uh, we need to animate but uh, in this case from the second two and first set the direction in 150 and in the stretch uh, click 9 and the center uh, click on center in the quick frame and drag it to the bottom and in the last frame of the composition change the value of the y-axis at the center and see how the text is gone so this way you can see how the text is like a liquid being dragged by the by the bottom so uh, also add a glow a last glow and just play with the settings and the threshold maybe uh, maybe the radius and in the threshold decrease it and in the intensity uh, maybe 0.6 generate a background a new layer a new solid and rename it last uh, back and drag to the bottom of the composition and and in the adjustment layer um, maybe an effect a noise and grain effect add grain change the viewing mode to final output and and i think uh, if you can see the, the the noise it looks really really good now set to fit and uh, let's see a preview that's great right The good thing about this is uh, the text is uh, pre-composed so if you want to change the text or any graphics maybe a logo you can uh, just 
put it in the precomposition. Pre Just uh, make sure that the, the position of the text and uh, replace it for the logo or the and you can see how the how the effect is also applied to a logo so it's really really good well guys i hope you find this tutorial useful remember to subscribe and activate the notification bell and thanks for watching i will see you on the next video thanks